Mm. He's gonna be like, oh, you didn't get a chance to edit? I'm gonna say, no, silly. Why would I do that when I could just waste my time? Just realizing this whole day is falling apart. Hello to the beginning of a new vlog. Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I am so hungry. So I had some leftover chicken thighs and I just decided to make really loaded tacos. So I have a bunch of mixed greens on top of um, these little corn tortillas. I had leftover chicken thighs and I just um, added some of the, what's it called? This seasoning. The everything but the elote. Is that how I'm sa am I saying it? Semi right? Like with the wrong accent, but like basically saying it. Anyway, I put some of this, this stuff from Trader Joe's onto the chicken while I was heating it up in my little cast iron pan over there. And I also added some chili powder and garlic powder and a little bit of salt and pepper. I tossed the greens in a little bit of lime juice, put the chicken over that, and then topped that with some Monterey Jack cheese, and then squeezed some more um, lime onto it. So, it looks really good. It smells really good. So I am going to go devour this while I watch Jeannie Mai. Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in a few days. Um, I got sick. Ernie got sick. Ernie lost his voice. I should have filmed that. That was actually... Uh, it was sad, but he made it funny. <clears throat> but I just finished working out. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> so, since I haven't been going for a walk because of the whole coyote sighting, um, I'll, I'll get over it eventually and start going again. But for now, I'm doing exercises at home and I was following first I did Zumba and then I did this Bollywood dance thingy because Bollywood dances are always fun Whew. and I knew Bhangra was hard okay I tried it a long time ago <laughs> and it was hard but it was so fun oh gosh first I tried doing this cardio dance workout and I just couldn't stand the voices of the people in that one wow sweating makes people mean makes me mean that was rude to say I raised you better than that. Anyway, yeah, that's what's going on today. See? I look sweaty and gross and old. Ugh. Good morning, guys. Does this look better? No. It looks crazy no matter what. Hi, guys. I haven't vlogged in a few days because Ernie and I got super sick. Ernie is actually sicker than I was. Mine is uh, my cold or flu or whatever this is. It's not Corona, don't you guys worry about it, but I hope all of you guys are staying healthy. I know it's like really scary right now. Wash your hands, be careful about what you touch, don't touch your face. What's frustrating about the coronavirus is that like the side of, not effect, side effects, I keep saying side effects, the symptoms are all very much extremely reminiscent or like exactly the same as what you would get with the flu and sometimes even with the cold. So it's really just, you don't know. You don't know that you have corona unless you get tested. At least that's my understanding of it so far at this point. I'm going to try to be productive today. The first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is uh, apply some more henna to my eyebrows to see if I have better luck with it this time. Last time it kind of burned my skin. Uh, this time I'm going to be more careful and not put it on more than once because last time I put it on like two or three times in a row. This time I have mixed it. It looks like a good consistency and I let it um, sit for like 15 minutes before even applying it to my brows, which I have started now at this point. Hopefully the color develops better than it did last time. Just turn you guys a little bit so you're not like just staring at my face, you know what I mean? Does that work? That kind of works, right? Or does that just look scary? Who knows? You guys do. I do not. But this is what we're doing right now. I really want to change out the mirror in my bathroom. I actually want to change everything in my bathroom. I'm thinking about doing like a little bathroom renovation series. I just know that we're not going to get into like actually getting everything redone like professionally right now. So simply like adding paint and changing the hardware and stuff that those are things that we can do on our own so i want to do that if you guys want to see like you know a bathroom remodel uh video let me guys 
Let me guys know. Let me know. It probably looks a little nuts, but it should look better once I wash it off. I have quite a bit left, and I have this little spongy thing that I think would work well for faux freckles. I'm wondering how that would work. So I'm gonna brush like a little bit on here, across the whole thing, and just see what it looks like. If the pattern comes out weird, I'll just wipe it off immediately. Oh, that definitely looks like freckles. Okay, this might work. I might have faux freckles, you guys! I love the look of freckles. I think people with freckles are so cute. Ernie has some freckles across his nose. They're very light. But if I started developing freckles now, I would be really worried because they wouldn't be like regular freckles. They would be sunspots. Mm, the other side came out better for sure. I don't like how this side's coming out. I'm gonna start over. Is that too many freckles? I don't know. I'm really worried about the, the nose part. I feel like that has to totally come out perfect, you know what I mean? Because it's right in the center of the face. That's enough. I may have already overdone it. Hmm. And now, time to remove all of this. Did it work? A little. I mean, there's color there, so... Technically it worked, right? But it's just not as dark as I would have liked it to be. But still, that's a good thing because if it had gotten darker, it would have looked very crazy, I think. So I think this is all right. It's fine. Now to remove the freckles, <laughs> which barely took my face at all, which is fine. Cause I don't think this was would have been a good layout anyway. Some of it took, some of it, like the ones around my eyes right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it now? There's some like around here that really took to the skin. Is that my freckle? Like my beauty spot or is that a, I think that's mine. That's like a real one. <laughs> These are real ones, I think. I don't know anywhere. I'm not sure. I should know this. It's my face. Oh, the nose ones really work though. My battery died, but here I am in my bedroom now and the nose freckles really worked out. The other ones, some of it took, some of it didn't, but I really like the nose freckles. I think those are cute. The other ones, I'm probably never gonna do again, but I just like, like the little little nose freckles. I'm probably next time just gonna focus on this area, just do freckles around the nose and a little bit right here. I think that would probably be the best look for my face so it doesn't look like extra, extra dark around here, but we'll see. Ow, why did I do that? Hey guys, so after I curled my hair, I sat down for a little bit because I started feeling really sick again. And I don't think I'm gonna go out today um, to donate everything. Cause I don't wanna be sick, get germs all over the stuff that I want to donate and then transfer that to somebody. That would make me feel very, very bad and very guilty. So what I'm going to do is, um, it's a very odd noise. Oh, it's my candle. Ugh, that was silly. I have this threshold candle in the sand, whiskey and oak, and it's one of those crackling ones with a little wooden wick. <sighs> well, that scared the heck out of me. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, what I'm going to do instead of um, donating the stuff, I'm going to uh, try out this makeup look. It's not a makeup look, it's a technique that I saw on TikTok and I think it's like kind of going viral. Basically, what you do is you put on your moisturizer and then you put a translucent powder over your moisturizer and then you spray it with setting spray and once the setting spray is dry, you apply your primer and then apply your foundation. So that is what I'm going to do. It's supposed to make your skin look super flawless. Alright, now that I have my moisturizer on, 
I'm going to apply this multi finish powder from Skin Food. This is a translucent powder. It has no color whatsoever. So I'm just going to take a brush, this one. I'm just going to press it into my skin. What I really like about this powder is that it's super, super, super fine. It feels like nothing on the skin, which I love. And it smells like peach. Now that that part is done, I'm going to take my setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I feel like my skin looks pretty glowy already. So that's nice. Hopefully it keeps working this way. I'm not gonna like go overboard with my makeup. Um, I'm gonna keep it very, very, very simple because I feel under the weather and I don't feel like wearing a full face. My setting spray definitely feels like it's dry. And what it says after is to apply a primer. The primer I'm going to use today is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I just bought it from uh, what? I just bought it from Walgreens yesterday and you see it like it has one streak gone because as soon as I got home I was so curious even though I was already wearing powder on my face and stuff I wanted to see how it worked and when I put it on over my powder like my pores they were gone they did not exist so I'm taking I don't know if I took a lot I think I took too much but here we go one two buckle my shoe why am I saying these weird things okay gotta apply it all the way under my eyes just to make sure it's hydrated under the ear yo my pores are gone they are gone where are they you can't see them i can't see them they where are they they still exist but you just can't tell this is the serum foundation from the ordinary uh i ugh, i don't know if it's too light for me or not but we're just gonna put it on I'm here for lightweight, medium coverage foundations right now. Um, especially because my skin is... I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Because as soon as I say it, it's gonna get bad again. So, my skin is skin. And I have the serum foundation and the coverage foundation from The Ordinary. And I actually like the scarum, scarum? serum foundation so, so, so much more. There's just enough coverage. And it feels as light as uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it feels super super light like you can't even feel it on the skin at all it's amazing and like it still looks like skin which is everything i've been wanting from makeup right now i think the reason for that is i don't wear makeup every day like i've told you guys a million and one times i'm sure you're tired of hearing it but i don't wear makeup every day if you watch my vlogs you know I'm walking around looking like some kind of tree monster person. And that's because I have been so into my skincare that I haven't wanted to mess with makeup. I haven't wanted to put makeup on that would um, mess up my skin. This stuff is buildable, but it's not like super buildable. Like if you add three layers of this, it's not going to suddenly turn into a full, full coverage product. At least not on me. And you can still see my henna freckles through the, through the, what am I saying? Through the foundation. I don't see very large pores anywhere. My skin doesn't look textured. It looks very clear. It's going really well. Of course, I need to add a little bit more color in, but we will do that in a minute. Uh, first, before we go that far, I'm going to apply some concealer. This is a 16 hour camo concealer from the e.l.f. The only color they had left that was anywhere near what I needed was medium peach i should have got in i believe medium sand that would have worked better for me uh, i compared this color to my uh, tarte shape tape and this one is a little lighter um, and not as warm i also tried this concealer yesterday but i didn't apply it with a sponge i just used my fingers and i blended it under my eyes and it looked pretty good except i put the wrong powder underneath my eyes and it kind of made everything darker than it should have been but i got into the shower like half an hour later so it wasn't a big deal but it feels really nice it's not too heavy it feels once again extremely light kind of like you're wearing nothing and it looks good like it has brightened my under eyes 
so so much like you see that yes and I'm just going to use my skin food peach finishing powder again but this time I'm gonna use it on my sponge and just tap it underneath my eyes I do think I would have uh, benefited from having a bit of a warmer tone okay and instead of leaving this under the eyes to bake which I don't feel like I need to do today I'm just going to lightly pat it away as you guys can tell my eyelids are still really dark but I'm just gonna like leave it that way because I'm not planning on doing a lot of eye shadow today at all I'm just going to use the natural shadows of my eyes hello hi hi how are you did you go to the doctor I just have to pick this thing up so you can know that it's your mom I know it's you mom <laughs> you are you should wear it too. No, they say not to wear the mask because then you're touching things and you have to take off the mask and that means you're touching your face. What, what? They say on the news not to wear the mask because when you touch things... What did you say? On the news. They say... Well, my mom called while I was in the middle of doing all this and we talked for like an hour so now here I am an hour later with this face still incomplete. This has got to be the longest amount of time I've ever spent on a regular face of makeup. Especially this type of face of makeup, which is very, very plain. Wait, this whole thing was about the skin. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the skin looks great. Like, laugh lines who? I know where my laugh lines are, but the makeup really isn't settling into them. It's not settling, settling into my pores. Uh, my nose looks pretty decent. Wow. I'm impressed. I really am. This is going really well. I don't know what's going on today. I think it's because I have powder on and stuff, but I feel like my under eyes are looking extra bright and like there's a re weird ring around it. I find that to be extremely frustrating. I don't know what I'm going to do about it yet because usually I don't have this issue to attempt to make this area better. Now I'm really frustrated because I, I still have things to do today and now I have this and I didn't want to deal with this but now I am. I'm going to take some of my skin food peach powder. I'm just going to put that here and let it sit for a moment. Okay, now that's on there. Hopefully when I dust it away it'll kind of stop this ring from being there. That ring was very weird. I accidentally kicked my table over. I dropped everything on my floor. I am so worried <laughs> to open these things. Oh my goodness. All right. Makes me panic a little bit. Just a little. It's like it's a big deal or whatever. Oh my gosh. Luckily, this didn't break. This was the first thing I picked up before I even grabbed my camera. This is okay. Thank you, Fenty. You can see my bare minerals, bare skin stuff. Uh, okay, this is okay. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle in March. The rest of this stuff isn't really... Oh, okay, good. <laughs> this is a glass bottle, so I was really worried about this. Now I just have to rearrange everything, which is annoying, but it's not a big deal. Okay, okay. Everything is alive and well. I knew it. I knew when I put my table down today that I put it in the wrong direction because the little, little thingy... <laughs> I just realized I still have this powder on my face. But the little bar thingy was near my feet instead of near the camera. I'm so happy that it didn't knock my tripod down. That would have been the worst. Now it's in the right direction. I'm slowly getting into a worser and worser mood. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. All right, this is a little bit better now. It's a little bit better. Uh, it's not like 100% great, but it is better. Next time, I know to be extra careful, extra, extra, extra careful with my blush application, especially with my cream blushes. Um, and probably, see this, I can still see the ring here. This is very frustrating. I'm gonna try to fix it. I'll be back when it's better. Hopefully when I dust this off, it doesn't look bad. We'll see. Okay, where's my brush? Oh, it's right here. I'm in a great mood. I just killed some time. Uh, watching TikTok. Oh! 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 
This side is the trouble side. So let's let's hope. Fingers crossed. I still see a ring. Do you see a ring? I still see it's a slight ring. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pretend it's not there. I am going to pretend that it does not exist. Am I gonna regret this? I probably am. Probably. I might. I might. But <laughs> I think this is what ruined it the first time. I'm gonna go into it anyway because I have issues. One, two, three. Just a triangle. Nothing more. Just that. Okay. Last time I did six dots. Now I'm going to do three dots. One, two, three. And instead of my fingers, I'm using my sponge. Because why didn't I do this the first time? Instead, when I had my, <laughs> I had it out. I had it here though with me the whole time, and I didn't use it for reasons I don't understand. I think it's because I want to show you guys how I usually do this on days where I'm not going to wear foundation. But today I'm wearing foundation and concealer, so I shouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a great mood. Ernie's gonna watch this video. He's gonna be like, "You were having a hard day." I was like, "Yeah, I was like, I'm going to be like, yeah, I was. It was terrible. You should have stayed home from work, where you go to provide a good life for myself and you." I mean, could I have gone into using a powder brush, Br powder brush? Wow, a powder blush. Yes, I could have. I very well could have done that but now it's the principle of the thing now I want to put a little bit on my nose why I am just tempting fate and begging it to destroy all the work that I've done all I want to do now is give up lay down and then go pick up my husband when he gets off work but no we are not doing that no sir we have other things to do he's gonna be like oh you didn't get a chance to edit I'm gonna say no silly why would I do that when I could just waste my time I'm going to use this highlighter, even though on days like this, I wouldn't. You know why? Because I don't want to destroy my makeup again with a liquid highlighter. Because I've already used a liquid blush, and I am not going to push myself further. Okay. I just remembered that there was a dress that I wanted to wear today, and I forgot to shave my legs. Just realizing this whole day is falling apart. Finally done. I'm so happy that I'm finally finished. This has been a nightmare, but I gotta say, the skin in general looks good. That trick with um, you know, the whole process, putting on your moisturizer or SPF or whatever, and then applying translucent powder over that, spraying it down with setting spray, and then going in with your primer after your setting spray has dried, makes a world of difference. I'm a fan, I really, really like it. When I'm looking at the viewfinder right now, I think it looks pretty good and like really like smooth except for the texture that's popping out right here um but everything around here around here my chin my forehead my nose everything looks really really smooth and like blurred really well really good technique i will use it more often i don't know what i'm doing anyway my timing's off uh i don't think i want to yeah it's 325 now i'm just gonna hang out at home for a while uh i'll leave when it's time to go pick up ernie and then we'll just go get dinner together so i'll take you guys to the mall with me when we go pick up dinner all right before i go i want to show you guys my outfit just my vans like usual my favorite jeans of all time i know they look totally wrecked but they're so comfortable i love how distressed they are and they're so cute. And I'm wearing this flannel. I forget where it's from. I want to say it was Urban Outfitters. It was actually my niece's and she gave it to me and I love it so much. So comfy. And I'm just wearing a white tank top underneath it. Very simple, very easy outfit. That's it. All right, and now off to pick up my husband. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. All right, see the big red box behind us? How it dare you call me names? It used to be a taco place. 
It was. I was there. Just two weeks ago, I was there. And now it's gone. No tacos for me. No tacos. And they looked so good. They did. I'm sorry. It was only there like two weeks ago, though. So I can't believe it's gone. When did it go? Overnight? Yes. That's amazing. Wow. Very frustrating. Oh, Charlene wanted to tell you to be extra careful on Bart. Oh, yeah. You guys at Corona? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went to Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. I usually get a burrito bowl, but today I got a salad topped with cheese. Yeah. So is it really a salad? Yes. They put a lot of cheese. They did. Because it's a salad. <laughs> I just like already feel bloated, so I didn't want to eat anything hey, super heavy. You feel I feel bloated. Take a look at me. I am blue. You're perfect. He's perfect. Hello, friends. I am home. <laughs> and as soon as Ernie and I got home, my father-in-law was sweeping around the litter pan. Mr. Orange's litter pan. We have two litter pans. One for the little girl in the garage, one for Mr. Orange uh, in our stairwell area. The stairwell, even though we do have one light in there, it does stay pretty dark because there's a... a there's a turn in it, so <laughs> the area with the litter pan doesn't get the most light, especially on the floor. So, uh, yeah, he didn't notice that Mr. O had had a uh, diarrhea that spilled over his litter pan. And so I got on the broom. The broom pushed it around on the floor, but the poop worked its way into the broom. And then, uh, turns out there's also poop on the little rug that we have underneath his litter pan. The center of my home smells like poop. Really strong poop. And Ernie doesn't like me touching things that have had poop or pee on them because he insists on doing it himself so that I don't have to deal with it. So now he is doing that. I'm upstairs. I'm gonna get his clothes ready for his shower and everything because I know that after he deals with the fecal matters, <laughs> he is not going to want, he's going to want to take a shower like immediately. So yeah. That's the end of this vlog, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a great week. Be safe. Be healthy. Good morning, vlog. This is quarantine day one. Day one. Day one. The people have resorted to cannibalism. It's not that bad yet. I've had to take a machete. Don't do that. You should turn that the other way so you have a place to put your legs. I can tell you where I'm going to put my legs. Right at my quack. As you can see, Ernie is already going stir-crazy. I was born stir-crazy. Technically, today yeah. is day one. You told me to turn the table, and now I'm going to order to put my legs Thank again. You. Thank Oh, I thought you were going to face the wall. That's I'm sorry. Plan. Yeah, I know. I keep telling you. You're going to face the wall. But you're gonna... What are you doing? I'm trying to kill her. What oh, are you doing? Man. You're just putting it, things in places they don't belong. No. Leave it there. Right there. Put it there. Here? No. Here? No. You know what? Set on the floor! Set on the floor! This will be over soon. <laughs> It'll all be over soon! Anyway, uh, so the quarantine is supposed to last um, for three weeks, I believe. Ernie, as of now, is off of work, but he might have to go back um, on as Thursday. As early as Thursday, yeah. As early as Thursday. Mm -hmm. And today is Tuesday, so he might only be off today and tomorrow and then go back. It's really weird. But for me, it's basically the same because I stay home all the time anyway. So I've been preparing for this all my life. Look at the camera, babe. <laughs> what? <laughs> On top of the quarantine, we have a ghost. On the bright side, Mr. Orange is very happy that we are both at home. Ow. You bumped me. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye